Thanks for joining me today as I talk about RSA via Governance and Lifecycle, RSA's premier identity and access management portfolio. Today we'll be discussing RSA via's mobile app for access requests and approving those requests, so stay tuned. I've gone ahead and logged in as an end user named Jana Joseph, and when Donna Joseph logs in, this is the dashboard that she lands on. You can see that we have capabilities to add additional dashboards if we want to do things like embed reports, maybe embed a form in order for her to onboard somebody to her team. But when she logs in, there's a few things that she can do. She can go ahead and take a look at her own account. So this is just a general profile of the access that Donna has and where she lives within the organization. We can also take a look at the users or the employees that Donna oversees, um, as well as track some access requests that we've submitted in the past. We also have the capability to take some action and look at tasks that have been assigned to us, whether it's approving an access request in our queue, remediating a violation, or looking at an access review or certification campaign. So that could be something like a quarterly access review for all of the employees that Donna oversees. But we're going to get started and take a look at the access that Donna has. And you'll see that when we click on Donna's profile, we've got a lot of information about who she is. So Donna is a senior accounting manager within the finance organization, and she's based out of Chicago. We've also pulled in information about who Donna's supervisor is because we're collecting this information from an identity source, such as an HR system. And when, when we take a look at Dan Peterson's profile, we know that Dan is the VP of Finance. This is specifically useful when we have things like um, approval requests or workflows that get kicked off that require Dan Peterson's approval. If I go ahead and click on the Access tab now, we can take a look at the access that Donna has today. So we know that Donna's a part of some active directory groups. She's based out of Chicago, so naturally she's been placed in the Americas AD group. We also know that Donna has a department role that was assigned to her. So this is the finance role, for example. And this could have been assigned when Donna was onboarded to the organization. She's also got some access in, in additional applica applications such as EPIC and the payroll application. But today she actually wants to go ahead and add entitlements to her access. And the platform has suggested entitlements to add based on the fact that Donna lives within the finance organization. Donna really wants access to the enterprise financial application today, so she's going to go ahead and add an entitlement. Um, and this will get put into a request queue. So she wants to be able to submit her expense reports. When she clicks OK, she's essentially begun the checkout process. And you'll see that that entitlement was put into the submit request shopping cart where Donna can continue on and, and submit the request to her manager for approval. On this screen, we have some request details. So what was the specific entitlement that Donna needed? What was the business source that it was a part of? It's part of the enterprise financial application. On this screen is where we would also see any sort of violation that may be occurring. So if there's, for example, a segregation of duties, policy that's being violated with this access request, Donna would be informed at this point that a violation has occurred and she would be allowed to continue on or stop the checkout process. But Donna, in this case, wants to continue with this access request because she definitely wants to submit her expense reports. So she can go ahead and put in a description. So for example, if she wants to say, please grant me access as soon as possible, as well as the capability to add a fulfillment and a revocation date. A fulfillment date is useful if Donna feels that she doesn't need the access right away and she can hold off for another two weeks. She can essentially put in a date two weeks from now that this access will be provisioned. 
and a revocation date is the opposite. So this is essentially a time bomb. So if Donna only needs his access for a week, we can go ahead and put in a proposed revocation date and we can automatically go out and deprovision that access once that date approaches or perhaps even put in an escalation notice. But she doesn't need fulfillment or revocation in the future, so we need that access today or as soon as possible, and we don't want to revoke her ability to submit her expense reports. She's going to go ahead and click Next, and she gets taken to the next screen, which asks her, do you need remote access? Essentially, we can start to gather some additional information from our employees at this point. Donna doesn't need additional access, so she's going to go ahead and click Finish, and you'll see that the request has been submitted, and there's a unique tracking number for this request. When Donna clicks Close, she can continue on to her home screen, and you'll see that our Manage Access button has a number one next to it because now she can essentially track where the access is. So we know that we've submitted it and it's in the approvals phase. Now it's waiting for approval from her manager or whoever is next in the workflow. Donna totally forgot that her manager is actually on vacation, and now she's seriously worried that she won't be able to expend, expense her expenses from her previous business trip on time. But not to worry, we have an RSA via Lifecycle and Governance mobile app, so Donna's manager, Dan Peterson, can approve her request while he's on the move. Let's go ahead and launch this app and get started. Dan went ahead and put in his username and password in order to log in, and when he logs in, you'll see that he lands on his My Tasks page where he has a supervisor approval in his queue along with a due date on that approval. As a part of this supervisor approval, we know that Donna Joseph needs access to the enterprise financial application. So we're going to go ahead and create an account for her in that application, as well as add the entitlement that's in question here. And now Dan has an option to either accept Donna's request or go ahead and reject it. He chooses to accept it clicks apply. He can enter a comment if he'd like to submit a comment or provide a business justification as to why Donna needs this. And when he clicks OK, you'll see that the approval was successfully submitted. 